We are watching for the latest developments in Israel, where a coalition government is poised to unseat long-term Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu. And while Israel sits on the edge of a major domestic political shift, Israeli Defense Minister Benny Gantz is meeting with top U.S. officials to affirm the relationship between the two countries. Joining me now is Idan Roll, member of the Knesset, that's Israel's parliament, for Yair Lapid's Yesh Atid party, and someone who could potentially serve in a senior role in this new government. Mr. Roll, thank you so much uh, for your time. I, I want to start with the formation of this government right now, because the outgoing, potentially outgoing prime minister, Benjamin Netanyahu, is calling on lawmakers to oppose this, quote, dangerous left-wing government. Uh, do you think you can keep the coalition together for the long term? Yes, I'm very confident that our partners and us, we can carry out this, uh, you know, procedure of forming this government. This is not a left wing or a right, right wing uh, coalition. This is a moderate uh, uh, coalition of unity. We have uh, parties of all walks of politics in Israel. We have left, central and right. And I believe this is what the people of Israel need and want at this point. I know that the speaker of the Knesset, uh, Yariv Levin, is a member of Netanyahu's party and could potentially use parliamentary procedures to delay the confidence vote until June 14th. Do you think this fragile alliance could withstand the additional pressure of uh, waiting until June 14th? Um, hopefully we will not have to wait uh, much longer because we are very determined to uh, replace the speaker of our parliament as soon as possible and uh, and move forward with uh, forming this uh, coalition and getting our government sworn in. Uh, it's a matter of technicality. We have the votes. We have the great partners and all of our partners have have gone a long way and are very determined to see it through. Yeah, and so speaking of that determination, under this new coalition agreement, Neftali Bennett, a right-wing leader uh, who opposes a Palestinian state, will be prime minister for two years. Does that concern you, even if it is temporary? You talked about the ideological spectrum, but I'm curious to get your thoughts on who you're getting in this alliance with and what they want for the future of Israel. Well, um, you know... Forming this coalition has taken a while now, and we had a chance to uh, work with all of our partners and see that it's really working together. I know that some are viewing potential obstacles and uh, and hurdles, but I'm very confident we can, you know, we can make it through because what Israel needs right now, and we've seen it in the past few months, is uh, mainly to uh, uh, rebuild the economy after the COVID-19 crisis and to mend some very crucial internal rifts in our society. And the people of Israel are very are looking forward for a change. And this is what this government is offering them. So I know people are used to determining that one coalition is either left or right, but we are offering unity. And this is what Israel needs at this point. And speaking of some of the challenges that Israel faces, as you mentioned, there are the skeptics who are saying that much won't change under this new coalition government. Um, do you believe that given these divisions, as we were just outlining, anything will change on the external relations? For example, the Palestinians and those living under Israeli rule. Will you see somebody like Neftali Bennett make any position changes or would the system even change if he is the prime minister for the first two years when it comes to the Palestinians? Well, all the, main, all the main guidelines and outlines of this uh, administration have been discussed, obviously. And this will be a coalition of moderation and, and compromise. And compromise is a good thing. You know, speaking as a member of a centrist party, I believe that compromise is an essential part of politics and of making change. And we have much to do in the Middle East and with Gaza, and we might not make uh, huge strides with the Israeli-Palestinian uh, conflict, but there is still lots to do uh, in relation to what is ahead. So, so just to understand, to be clear, because I, I want to make sure I, I know what the position of this new government will be. Will they be in support of a two-state solution? Will they be in support of the Oslo process? Will they support settlement expansion? Can you just shed some light on what some of those agreements that all of these members are agreeing to? Um, well, in general, I can say that there will not be any annexation, but 
Uh, much of the details is yet to unfold because, you know, at this point, we are looking forward to getting this government sworn in. And hopefully, once we do that, I'll be happy to come back on this show and shed some more information and some more light on the issues. Yeah, we certainly will welcome you back, Mr. Idan Roll. Thank you so much for your time. I greatly appreciate it.